Where's Stu Han, mean Freon, and welcome to another video. Marvel Cinematic Universe is continuing with their double standards, my dear friends. But you know it, I'm sure if you've seen the latest trailer for Thor, Love and Thunder. And before you start shouting at me, oh yes, my friends, I know my comic book history. I care about the medium. I know that the first appearance, quote unquote, of Jane Foster as Thor was was in uh, uh, an issue of What If series decades and decades ago, but you know, that's only an What If story. They were coming up with these stories to attract the attention of the readers uh, with um, alternative reality stories, but of course most of these stories have become the mainstream today. And of course I know that in 2014 Jane Foster took the mantle of Thor from Thor in uh, the run of Thor by Jason Aaron, making Thor a mere title, a mere mantle that anybody can wield, especially strong women. And I know that it happened because Thor lost his ability to wield Mjolnir after the fight with Nick Fury and then Jane Foster was diagnosed with cancer and the, and, uh, the hammer Mjolnir was abandoned on the moon and it called unto Jane Foster and she was transported there and then she took the hammer and became the mighty Thor. Well, this is all absolutely preposterous, isn't it? Although I have to admit that the initial issues, the initial let are say one or one and a half, two collected editions of the Mighty Thor or Thor by Jason Aaron were good, especially the God Butcher story arc, who is also going to appear in the film. It was all destroyed by that modern and newfangled fashion wave of swapping all the characters and getting rid of that which was special about them. But Marvel Cinematic Universe is taking those things to the next level. So if you've seen the trailer, you see that not only are all the men a laughing matter, basically a comic relief characters, whereas the females are taking uh, all the seriousness and all the badassness from them. But also there is something, there is a scene in the trailer, and I'm sure it's going to be even more over-exaggerated and even more ridiculous in, in the film itself. Thor is being captured by Zeus, who is being portrayed by uh, Russell Crowe. Both tremendous and awesome actors, Christopher Hemsworth and Russell Crowe. I admire them, I love them as actors, and I feel only sorry for them that they have to be involved in, in such a circus as Marvel Cinematic Universe and Disney. And Zeus is, flip, is flipping his finger, or, you know, uh, like, smashing his fingers, and he removes Thor's clothes completely. So he stays in front of, uh, well, a lot of people, a lot of spectators, but naked. And of course, everybody faints, because he's the god of thunder. He's uh, gifted in many ways, shall we say. But the, the important parts are, of course, blurred, because this is a Marvel Disney film, after all. And uh, there's also a king Valkyrie. Why is she called a king when she's a woman? Shouldn't she be Queen Valkyrie? Isn't it preposterous and ridiculous enough that Valkyrie... A, really, from the Norse mythology, kind of a servant of Odin, whose uh, main task is to bring fallen warriors to Valhalla after they die. Well, never mind. Why is she called Queen? And Jane Foster, the mighty Thor, they are looking at it as well. And uh, Jane asks, should we help him? And uh, Valkyrie says, eventually, a grape? and offers Jane Foster a grape from, from a basket. Now, the basket of grapes has also become a, a joke in the last couple of weeks when the pictures were released. And I'm talking about the double standards of uh, today's entertainment on purpose, because you can see it everywhere. And here we are getting to the core of this video. Imagine this particular scene, this particular thing, 
the stripping thing being done to a female character, to Jane Foster, or even to Valkyrie, which would be even worse because she's a, a POC character and or apparently an LGBTQ character as well. Imagine being this very same thing done to her. The world, the internet, all the crazy Twitter psychos, all the SJWEs, all the crazies would go crazy about it. They would feel insulted in a second and they would demand the scene to be deleted from the film. Can you see the double standards there? We can objectify a man every day. But when we want to look at a good-looking woman in a film, in a comic book, in a video game, whatever, we are objectifying her and we are the ists and phobes and we are the disgusting men. Well, my friends, that's one of the many reasons why I have given up on modern entertainment, because it is full of double standards, bad double standards. But of course, the first and prime reason is that all the products are very bad, of a very low quality. I've only seen one tremendously good and awesome new film made in the last couple of years, and that's The Northman. And such a film will not come for a long time again. All right, my friends, let me know in the comments down below what you think about this objectifying, what you think about uh, Marvel and Disney, or maybe mainly Disney, being sick and twisted. And that will be all. Thank you very much for watching. And I'm out of here.